Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Aqualung Plasma Mask. Now, obviously I'd like to have one with me, um, but I can't go backwards and forwards between the warehouse and my personal house at the moment, which is where I'm filming. Um, but rest assured, as soon as things have kind of changed and uh, and I can start to get like physical products to show you guys, uh, we will do another version of this. This is just, if, you, if you're in the market, you're looking at the plasma, you're still a little bit unsure sure uh, maybe this will help you make that decision. So the plasma mask is a, a single lens mask. So you've got that big sort of front lens on the front so you get plenty of vision. Um, and it's it kind of sits in that sort of frameless sort of semi-frame uh, kind of design. And, um, and it comes in a lot of sort of funky colors. Now, if you took all of the, the logo designs off of it um, and you held this up against an Apex VX1 mask, I think you kind of struggle to see the difference because they are very, very similar masks. The only real difference is that the uh, the plasma, the Aqualung version, it comes in lots of different colors, whereas the plasma is just black or white. Sorry, the VX1 is black or white, the plasma, all sorts of different colors. The uh, the strap on the back of your head is a little bit different as well, um, but hey. So yeah, going back to the mask itself, so the main um, sort of benefits of this mask is one, because it's that kind of semi-frameless design, it means that the glass lens is that much closer to your eyes, so it's actually reducing the internal volume of your mask, which means less airspace to squeeze, so as you go down, it's going to squeeze a lot less, it means that if it ever floods, it's a lot quicker and easier to clear as well. It also means, because the frame is that much closer to your face, it actually increases your field of vision because the frame is more out of the way uh, so you can physically see more of the reef. Now there are two different versions of this. You get the standard uh, sort of tempered glass and then you get the amber glass version. The standard one is tempered glass so it's fantastic but the amber glass has an ever so slight tint which helps reduce glare on the surface so when you've got the bright sunshine kind of bearing down on you it actually helps to uh, sort of cut some of that out so um, yeah, you don't get the glare in your eyes but it also helps to kind of boost the red colors when you're at depth so what you're seeing is a bit more accurate to uh, sort of what it would like, look like if you brought it up to the surface. The skirt itself uh, is actually nice and thin silicone, so it's more likely to fit more different face shapes. And what they've done to it is over the uh, kind of the temple and around the cheekbone kind of areas, you have this added detailing. So the detailing is actually for added grip. So when you're clearing your mask or you're taking your mask off, instead of just being that kind of um, uh, sort of shiny silicone, it's actually detailed, so it gives you a little bit of grip, uh, just something to uh, sort of grab hold of when you're clearing your mask or doing anything with your mask. The buckles on the sides, so they attach directly onto the skirt, so they have a decent amount of rotation in them. So your mask uh, strap is actually gonna fit kind of exactly where you want it to. And the buckle itself, single button uh, ratchet system. So just pull on the strap to make it tighter and then push on this single button at the top. And that's gonna loosen it off. So even if you've got big clunky gloves and you just need to adjust that strap just a little bit, uh, it's still pretty easy. The back of the strap has got a big, big sort of open section on the back and that big circle. So what that does is that kind of cradles the back of your head, uh, either the back of your head or the back of your hood. So it's gonna grip onto that. You've got a tab at the top and the bottom and these are kind of 3D. So it actually gives you something to kind of feel for and grab hold of so you can adjust it again, even with the sort of clunky gloves. On the inside of the mask, you're gonna have a second internal skirt seal. Uh, so that just means you get that really wide sealing area all the way around your face, and then it's gonna to go to a single seal over your top lip um, because you don't need all that going on around your nose. Decent sized nose pocket on this, so if you do have a fairly large nose, uh, you can still equalize, but the way the mask frame kind of dips away from it still means that you can still equalize pretty easy even if you've got those clunky gloves on. So all in all, really nice mask. Yeah, there's two different versions. There's the standard version, which comes in lots of different colors, uh, and that just has tempered glass lenses. Then you get the amber glass version, which kind of looks kind of orangey or amber, I guess. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive because it does have that lens treatment, but again, that's helping prevent uh, glare on the surface, and it kind of brings the, the reds back when you're uh, sort of diving at depth. So all in all, 
very nice mask. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you're kind of undecided between the, the Plasma and the Apex VX1, there's not a great deal of difference, uh, at least that I can see. Um, it might be in that the uh, the glass is slightly different, but uh, but all in all, the kind of the shape and the style of the mask, very, very similar. Um, but yeah, the Aqualong Plasma, very smart mask. And um, yeah, if you're looking to add some color to your diving, then this is definitely the way to go. Check it out on the website, simplyscuba.com. Thank you for watching and safe diving.